Hey boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Remember, it is general, so it may not resonate with everyone. It's kind of impossible, but you can always get a personalized reading, and I'll link information below. I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here. I would really appreciate your support by liking and following, and I'll post a link below as well. So this is how it's going to work. The inner cards are going to be present to immediate future. The outer cards are going to be a little bit more into the future. So these are not completely set in stone, the outer cards. Um, so if there is something that you don't like, you have a chance to kind of intervene uh, for the outer cards, okay? So here we go. I'm going to scoot you up a bit. Okay, we have the shepherd. With the shepherd, I feel like you're going to start seeing um, life with a different set of eyes. You might have been um, a Debbie Downer or kind of a, a pessimist, but I feel like you're, something's going to kind of ignite in you where you're going to kind of see things um, with more rose-colored glasses. You might be spending more time outdoors, um, which would be great for you to uh, be out in nature, take a walk. I think it would really help... Um, especially with stress levels for you um the stork with the stork um i do feel that some of you are contemplating about moving um you might make a move sometime um sooner or later you're gonna move but it's gonna be a better move a better place a better situation than where you are now um i also feel that some of you might even be um having a baby sometime uh soon this year okay then we have the key with the key with the key do you feel like there's going to be um a lot of success around you and i definitely believe that because you're a capricorn i'm um, all about work and success and i do feel that um coming towards you then we have the amor card with the amor card i do feel that someone is looking at you with loving longing eyes someone here um you know uh cares for you so this might be your spouse or it could also be a secret admirer then we have the railroad so i do feel that some of you might be taking a trip out of town it doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere far away but i do see that you are uh leaving it could be because of a job or you know just for fun but i do see that there is going to be some movement with you um let me see <clears throat> Okay, with this card, I do feel that there's a um, certain person that we need to be uh, worried about here. Um, there might be some kind of um, someone who doesn't think so fondly of you, who um, wants to cause you trouble, okay? So keep an eyeball out on that. Awesome, okay. So the anchor, I do see, uh, again, more success in work and in relationships, okay? So for those of you who are single, especially for those who are single, I do see someone coming in for you, okay? Definitely. Then we have the birds. So with the birds, I do feel that, um, again, same thing. I do feel that there is someone here around you who isn't very fond of you who um wants to start drama trouble with you i don't know if you upset them or offended them in some manner or they're just haters so i'd be careful stay away from this person um yeah this person wants to cause drama for you for sure okay so now we're going to go to the outer cards. So remember, those are uh, more into the future, um, and these are not completely set in stone. If there's something you want to change, you can intervene, okay? But this is an awesome card. We have the pig. Um, with the pig, it is such a great omen. It's all about um, success. It's all about um, phenomenal luck and abundance okay so it's such a great card guys okay i also feel like someone here 
is going to be, um, you're going to be getting a lot of attention, flattery from other people, okay? There is also going to be some kind of argument with uh, someone. There's going to be some kind of argument, um, some disagreement with a certain person, which totally resonates because we have the rod. With the rod, I do feel that there's going to be some kind of family quarrels, um, some disagreements. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be, well, it is family, but it could it could be someone who is close to you or like a family friend as well okay so i do see there's some issues and this might be the person you're gonna have issues with as well okay let me go up here okay with the ro uh raw roads here i do feel that you are going to um there was something in play already there was something in play already that was not going to lead you um somewhere where you needed to be so you're gonna advert like bad shit by like this much okay there was already something into play that was going to cost you um some kind of harm um and you're by the choices you are making you're going to um escape from that by very very little okay let me put you higher sorry guys then we have the ring so I feel like um some of you might have been very very disappointed in past relationships, especially those who were actually married. I feel like you were very disappointed. You were very let down. There was betrayal. Um, you could have done the betrayal as well. It, it's vice versa. But I do feel like you were very, very hurt by uh, relationships in the past. Um, and that's going to change, especially if you are ready with a new person. I feel like this person... Um, really cares for you uh really loves you and wants to be with you and i feel like um you might be thinking still about past exes um and it's bringing that drama back into the new one that you are but remember everyone's different that's the person who screwed you over not this new person so you need to give this new person a chance i also feel like this new person actually really does care for you and wants to be with you even though they do kind of pick up signals um that you're still thinking about other people here and there um and I feel like if you do stay with this person, this person wants to bring this person wants to bring you happiness wants to bring you love wants to bring you joy okay so let's go over here So I feel like some of you were kind of, um, you know, had a run with bad luck. You've had a run with bad luck, but that's going to change. Um, I do feel, again, more success in business and in love for you, okay? Again, more good fortune. Um, More good fortune and more good luck and anything you're trying to do. If there's something you're trying to do, something you want to get off the floor, you should definitely go for it, okay? Um, then we have the rose. The rose, I do feel that um, you might have an extra pep in your step. You might be feeling yourself more. Um, you might have had, um, you might have before had um, like... Um, struggled with self-image and stuff like that but i feel like you're going to be feeling more and feeling yourself more um i also would check on your health i do feel like some of your health is going to fluctuate up and down or at least someone around you but um nothing too serious and um this is my reading for you guys um, and remember, these are not the tarot cards. This is not the traditional tarot. These are different cards. I am going to go back to traditional tarot, but I just wanted to spice it up and uh, do different cards for you guys. I hope this reading was a blessing to you. And if you would like to bless me, you can tip or donate at paypal.me slash moongoddess11. I really appreciate all your support, all your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. They mean the world to me. And I do read them. And I do do respond to them. So feel free to leave me a comment and stay magical. Thanks guys.